Doug and Antoinette. All right, there's going to be a lot of judging going on at the table. <laughs> Just ahead of the holidays, it's time to put the manners to the test. Okay, specifically, <laughs> we're talking etiquette. Katie's here to explain. Yeah, that's right, guys. I spoke to an etiquette consultant, okay? Oh. Maybe we all need a little refresher. She was trained by the Brits. They know what they're doing oh, over yeah. there. And we headed to the Langham Hotel in Boston to put my skills to the test. After years of what some would call lackluster human interaction, have we forgotten our own golden rules? Yes. <laughs> COVID didn't help. And you know, now that things are back to normal, I feel like people kind of forgot how to act. Enter Dana Jean Antonelli, a certified etiquette consultant whose job it is to teach us the proper way to be proper. We learn manners based on what parents teach us they can only teach so much. Antonelli says everything from a first impression. Hi Dana. Hi Katie. How are you? To how you hold your fork matters. So that's why I'm here, uh, hopefully to get everything back to, you know, the basics as far as just learning manners and proper etiquette. First, let's talk about hosting and the appropriate way to lay out a place setting. And I can always look down on the setting and know how many courses I will have for the evening. Remember, forks and knives pair up together. Forks on the left and knives on the right. Anything that doesn't have a pair goes on the right and lay it out so that you work from the outside in. In this case, we're going to start with a soup. When it comes to eating soup, did you know there's a right and a wrong way? Actually, you wanna scoop away from you. Draw off any excess, and then you bring the spoon to you rather than ducking down. Even eating bread, it seems, at least I have been doing it wrong. Full disclosure, I'm going right in, ripping it in half, getting a little bit of butter, and going to town. Instead of cutting it in half, you actually just want to take a small piece, butter it like so, and take a bite. And in the day and age where we are connected to our phones, remember it's not polite to keep even our most personal belongings directly on the table. Anything that doesn't belong in a dining situation, for instance, handbags, cell phones, sunglasses, lipsticks, should be off the table. At the end of the day, you know, it's really just all about kindness, respect, and consideration. And again, we want to thank the folks at the Langham Hotel mm. for letting us use their space and their food. Mm. Okay, <laughs> I, want to, I want to know, we're going to do a little napkin test, you guys. So let's say this is our place setting. How do you put your napkin on your lap? Obviously, Cindy and I can't really do that, but Doug and Antoinette. Yeah, well, I open it up and just put it across yeah, my leg right like this. I put it across Okay, my so yes, okay. you fold in yeah. half, right? Yeah. 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 With the crease away from you. Mm -hmm. Oh, the crease away, okay. And then if you are going to wipe your face after you get some food on it, wrong. <laughs> Wrong. You want to take the inside, okay? Ah. So you want to take the corner and use that mm -hmm. to wipe your mouth. That way, when you fold it back up and place it back on your lap, yeah. there is no evidence. Yeah, oh, wait, see. inside here? Of whatever you're well, eating. No that, evidence. Not only that, the food doesn't get on you when you Correct. put it down. Correct. Lipstick, yeah. makeup. Yeah. I mean, if you've got a Gravy. face full of mashed potatoes, you want to be able to squash. Yeah. I fail all this etiquette stuff, it's let just, me tell you. Just whatever you <laughs> do. to remember. Whatever you do, don't do this. Correct. Wrong, wrong, do wrong, wrong, wrong. That's so yes. wrong. Dana was okay. very helpful. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. That was excellent. Yeah. All right, great. Good Thanks, luck, guys. Good luck at the yeah. table. Feel good? <laughs> yes, much better. Still more to come after the break. <laughs> <laughs> Five things to do this weekend right now. Okay. Wee!